Jay Ellis. CB. Last night when the Knicks got washed by the Sixers 109-89, they wanted Alfred's head. He went into the locker room. He turned on the post-game show. He hit that thumbs up button for you boys. <laughs> and he went right back out to throw some shots up. Tonight, Jay Ellis, he put his team on his back. Yes, sir. 27 points. Seven dimes. Get him. One of the best teams in the East <laughs> came into an empty Madison Square Garden and were turned away by a hungry Nick team. Serious, sir. 130 to 120. Ooh. Knicks get the first W of the season. Let's go. I got my glass ready. I got my drink poured up, JL. <laughs> the music has been hit. <laughs> LOL, Knicks is on hold for tonight, people. They're going to put some respect on our Damn name right. tonight. Right. We needed the point guard to lead us. And he, and he did just that, JL. Came out guns blazing. Aggressive. Looked to score. Mm-hmm. We need that in this lineup that they're going to put out there. Mm-hmm. And he did just that, bro. Yeah. He, he, he did just that, man. Three turnovers on the night, seven dimes. Julius Randle went out the freak all night. 29 points, 14 boards for Julius. We got to put some respect on his name as well. Three games in a row, he's putting the team on his back. Which And which one was the MVP? I don't know. Which, who was it? Oh, man. I don't, you know, it's tough. It, it's it's a close call, man. I have to say it's a tie. I mean, you know, five turnovers between them. They had the two-man game cracking in the second half. We knew that uh, we were going to get their best shot in the third quarter. We always wanted to see how the third quarter comes out. And they gave us exactly what we needed. Alfred Payton came out guns blazing nine points in the first quarter. Super aggressive. It seemed like he had a hand in every point for the force first four minutes of that game on the offense and the defensive side. So kudos to Alfred Payton for coming out guns blazing. He even hit three from three from the three-point Downtown. Line. He was in a Splash Brother bag tonight, Jay Ellis. Exactly. RJ gave him the shooting juju. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. It's something you love to see. He was moving from everywhere. He was hitting floaters from the side. He was diming people up. He, yeah. he was amazing today, man. The point guard play, we all keep saying the point guard play is what we need to go to the next level, and we got it today from Alfred Payton. Hopefully we can keep it up and, you know, stay in that they gym. Got it. it seems like it's working. Yeah, they, sure. they, they got it in DJLs. You know, um, the one thing about this Bucks defense, it, it's one of the best in the league, no doubt, from last year. But we know that they're going to give up the three. Mm -hmm. They're going to give up the three. And so, give credit to the Knicks. They went 16 to 27 from downtown, bro. An unlikely scenario. The Knicks took advantage of it. 16 to 27 from downtown. 22 to 27 from the free throw line. They shot 81% from the free throw line. 59% from downtown. And on a night where, you know, listen, I, I thought I thought the Bucks um, weren't in their bag tonight. You know, let, let the, the Knicks gave him a, a ton of opportunities to shoot from three, and, and they didn't capitalize on it. Yeah, only 18% from the Bucs. Only 18% from the Bucs from three, but mm -hmm. this is still a, a team where even on their B game, they could wash you up. So give credit to the Knicks for really putting the pressure on them from start to finish and putting this thing away. Absolutely. Third quarter came out. The Bucks punched. The Knicks punched back. They didn't fold. Julius Randle kept it going. Um, Barrett and, and and Barrett was in his bag. And like you said, Franklin Lakina came alive. He was a little bit frustrating to, for me today, CP. I was screaming at the screen, yeah. shoot the damn ball. Yeah, Frank. he had one shoot like in the, in the third or fourth quarter. He was damn near at the rim and passed it out. He was a bit timid, timid Timmy out there with yeah. DSJ out with a string quad. But uh, he stepped it up, man. Had a couple of nice dagger three-pointers in the fourth quarter and really put this thing away. Exactly, exactly. And you can see how they're using them. They're using more of an off guard, off ball guard. It seems like when Alfred Payton is out of the game, you'll see a lot of the playmaking is going to be made by Andre, um, by uh, Barrett and Burks. Yeah, a little bit and, committee. Committee. Yeah, by committee. So that seems to be the theme for Frank, for DSJ. Point guard by committee when Alfred Payton is out, when Alfred Payton is in, or Emmanuel quickly. They'll take the reins, and it seemed like it worked today for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought the defense was bend, don't break. I, I thought they were solid all night. Like I said, they, they gave them the threes. 
Uh, Bucks didn't capitalize, but I thought the paint, the interior defense was pretty solid. They did as good a job as they could have on the freak. I thought the help defense was pretty solid all the way around. Yeah. Um, Kev, you know, a, a aggressive out there once again on the defensive end. Shots weren't falling for him as, as you would have liked, but a disciplined game by Mitch. Mm -hmm. A disciplined game by, by um, Kev, a disciplined game by Julius. And I thought the defense has been solid. The defense has been um, on point for the Knicks uh, in this, you know, early stretch of the season, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like there was a key moment in this game in that second quarter. The Knicks were only up by like around four points. Tom Thibodeau, every time you see the Greek freak get a transition bucket, uh, Tom Thibodeau, he blew a quick whistle. Yeah. And I think the, the Knicks were up, I think, four in the, in the second quarter. Tom had enough blew the whistle. And then all of a sudden, the Knicks were on this crazy run, and they ended the ended the half with sixty one to forty five. With yeah, <laughs> by the halftime when they were only up by four with um, four minutes to go in the second. So huge, huge, huge run by the Knicks. Kept making stops, kept into the line, and kept hitting those buckets and getting those and ones. Man, those hitting the free throws. Hitting their free throws, man. Like I said, 80-something percent from the free throw line, 81.5 to be exact. And like I said, JLs, when you're a bad team, you got to execute at the strike and get those free points. And mm -hmm. they did that, and they were, they were lights out from downtown as well. You knew the Bucks defense was going to give you that. So solid, solid, solid effort. Um, again, Randall going at the freak with no fear. You know, had had the the baseline jumpers going. Yeah. Um, just just a patient approach by Randall these first three games, bro. Cutting down the turnovers, um, being patient with the reads, not forcing too much, getting mm -hmm. his guys involved, and um, being aggressive when he needs to be. Absolutely, only two turnovers on the night, CP. I feel like he only had one turnover by the third quarter. Yeah, and I was just kind of surprised by the stats. So kudos to Randall for you know. Putting the work in over the summer, uh, this coaching staff clearly showed him tape, and he's been a different player this season. Eight for 17 from the field, three of five from downtown. He was in the Yeesh. Splash Brother bag. Seven dimes, 14 boards, a block at the end of the game, and only two turnovers. You're right. Um, Bullock, decent first half. Well, you know, wasn't all that, but, you know, wasn't terrible. You know, everybody in the plus-minus category, Jails, all pluses across the board. Um, mm -hmm. Mitch, nine and six, two steals, a block. I, I thought, again, Mitch Mitch was disciplined out there against the freak against Brooke Lopez as well. Um, yeah. RJ, 17 points, eight boards, four dimes for RJ. What would you think about his effort tonight? Uh, it was up and down. The first half, I feel like um, he did okay. I feel like he's progressing a little bit with, with the shot selection. Shot selection, yeah. Shot selection yeah. is questionable for him. I agree with you. I agree with you on that. Um, after seeing him be so disciplined in the preseason and in the first game. But overall, he had a pretty decent game, but I still feel like I want him to watch some tape and and pick his shots a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the shots were, were a little um, all over the place in the first half. He still settled down. He got to the basket. He drove. He, he did his bully ball thing and, and mm -hmm. um, got to the line. And so, you know, still 17 points. I thought right. he executed, you know, good passes, 14 dimes as well. You know, so he definitely got the ball around the perimeter and, and got some guys open, found a couple. I think he found Mitch for a couple Gotham mobs as well. Yeah. So good job by RJ there. Um, Alec Burks, Jails. Alec Burks, man. Solid. 18 <laughs> points, five dimes, four or five from downtown, four or five from the free throw line. As we say, gets to the line a ton. Another solid effort for Alec Burks, man. Yeah, Alec Burks is another guy, man. He just – you just – He's so dependable. There was a point in the first quarter, I believe. The Knicks, we were up for most of that quarter. We were down for a split second until Alec Burks came into the game and just went haywire, hitting threes, making plays, and actually actually playing a little bit of point guard this game. Um, so uh, complete game from Alec Burks. He left the game a little bit early. Hopefully yeah, I think he had an ankle, had a little um, banged up with his ankle. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. But, you know, like I said, third straight positive contribution from Alec Burks. Still mm -hmm. want to see him in the starting lineup once his team gets it to full strength. But you can kind of see why they bring him off the bench right now to kind of give it a little bit of balance. Yeah. It's and like yeah, instant. Didn't, didn't, didn't hurt us tonight. Jay from East New York. Brooklyn, what's going on? What's going on? 
What's going on, fellas? CTJ Ellis, man. I just want to start off and, you know, give give Randall and Peyton they, they just do, man. Tonight they, they showed me a different, you know, even though Randall been dominating for the most part mm-hmm. individually, but they've been doing good. And I, I, I was surprised at Alfred Payton. He, he hit some shots. You know what I'm saying? He was really aggressive. I like that, you know? Confidence is king, and he definitely came out with a chip on his shoulder, you know? But I also want to point out the fact that the Knicks finally have coaching, it seems like. You know, like, that culture is headed in the right direction, man. I'm, I'm really happy about that. So, shout out to the Knicks front office for, you know, getting some people in there that can make the culture a little bit better. And also, RJ is one of them players that he got a high floor and a high ceiling. Like, he gets that shooting right, he's going to be a 20-plus point a night guy, you know? So, as long as he keep improving and, you know what I'm saying, keep grinding and doing what he do, he'll be fine, man. Yeah. I just wanted to say that, man. Y'all have a good night. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, you know, you know, JLC, you can only hope that uh, that the culture is coming along, um, especially with Tibbs. He's been here before. We love mm-hmm. Woodson. At least I do. You know, can't speak for for everybody else, but um, you know, you you, you want to see it work. You want to see them in, instill that culture and the foundation, and and to see that emanate across the team. And during the wins, it looks great, and during the losses, you want to fire everybody. This is what makes the Knicks fan, the Knicks fan, Tails. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I'm 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 still I'm still encouraged, man. I'm still yeah. encouraged that I'm seeing the same thing every night from this, this team, regardless of wins and losses. I mean, even though you you'll see some spurts where you know the team seems to get tired uh when the defense isn't working, but I feel like you're starting to see a pattern, and that's a really good sign. When you know like the game plan is being executed and you've seen the same thing every night. Yeah. It's a great sign. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Um, no Obi, no quickly. Obi Top and Jay Ellis is scheduled to miss at least six games. He's gonna be out seven to ten days, Ice. seven days before he even gets evaluated with the strain right calf. So Obi's is a little bit of a setback for Ob- for the Obi yeah. half. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of a setback. Obi quickly seems right. like he's uh um, progressing well. He's a he's more day to day, but Obi's gonna be out for a while. So um, that's that on the Obi front. DSJ surprised us, J. Ellis. Strain mm-hmm. quad. Yeah. So so DSJ goes out as as they say. Uh, uh, the best abilities availability, and and once mm-hmm. again DSJ goes out. But Frank stepped it up. Second half, Frank I thought uh, did a did a good job. Did a good job, JLS, and and did what we needed him to do, which is score the damn ball. Yeah, it's it's crazy because when I look at Frank's numbers, when I look at this free throw shooting, when I look at his form, I'm always thinking, yo, Frank's shooting is going to come along. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, and yeah. I'll, you know, I always say that DSJ's problem is between the ears. It's the same with Frank, but in a different way. <laughs> you know, like it. it for him, it's all heart, man. Like we need Jay, we need Jay to call Frank every morning to pump. Him up. <laughs> yeah, we need Jay Boogie to get <laughs> Frank's number and Facts. get him get him in, in shape. Because that's what we it, need. Because all it is is confidence, CP. Like the form is there. Every all the signs indicate he should be a shooter. It's yeah. just the confidence, man. If he stops hesitating, he's gonna be lethal. And I, I have a feeling that when they called that timeout, they got in Frank's ear as they shoot the ball. Because next play out the gate, pick. Pulled up. Pulled up <laughs> no hesitation. No hesitation. <laughs> no hesitation, man. So 